hii mpango ambayo umezindua leo ile hospitali your excellency ya mother and child inapunguza vifo za wamama ambao tunapoteza wakati wanaleta uhai our national target saa hii tuko na 350 wamama ambao wanakufa out of 100,000 wakipata watoto hapa elgeo marakwet wamama wale wanakufa wakitafuta watoto ni 450 under universal health coverage your excellency zile nchi ambazo zime achieve universal health coverage ni single digits and that is where i want to take this country under your direction jambo la pili your excellency hapa i10 last time nilikuwa nilipatana na kiprotich ambaye anafanywa dialysis he's a young 22 year old boy na nikamuuliza kama ako na income akaniambia yeye ako na pool table ambaye anatengeneza shilingi 200 kwa siku kufanyiwa dialysis your excellency ni elfu kumi, one session anafanyiwa mara mbili kwa wiki mwaka iko na wiki mbili. inamaanisha lazima akue na shilingi milioni moja ndiyo afanyiwe dialysis your excellency mimi naomba judges wajue ya kwamba kiprotich na wale wengine wa Kenya wanahitaji kufanyiwa dialysis Suluhisho ya hiyo dialysis your excellency ni kufanyiwa kidney transplant. Ile NHIF ambayo tuko nayo sasa hailipi itakulipia transplant na ikulipi madawa ya kukusaidia baada ya transplant. I want the judges to know we have over 10% of Kenyan population on dialysis. They need kidney transplant. The current NHIF cannot take care of them. So we need the social health authority ile itakulipia kabla upimwe kufanyiwa transplant ikulipie transplant ikulipie na madawa after transplant <laughs> Excellency na shukuru governor community health promoters wangu hapa wanaendelea vizuri amewapatia kids amewapatia sibu Asante sana watu elgeo Marakwet muendelee kuniombea na muombee judges the preamble of our constitution we acknowledge the supremacy of god if they respect the constitution they start with the preamble this corruption in the in the judiciary is an institution the obtata the brokers the cartel cannot go to the judiciary without the lawyers providing the conveyors so your excellency even universal health care housing was in the manifesto of when TLA and URP joined. President Uhuru Kenyatta in 10 years with the deputy president, they were unable even to make amendments, and I can confirm as the leader of majority, to the even NSSF Act, to the NHIF Act. Kibaki could not to transform our country because of court orders. Uhuru Kenyatta, President Uhuru and Deputy President then, President Ruto, could not do it. And somebody has to do it. President Ruto from 1st of January this year, and Your Excellency, I am happy. Be consistent. They want you to leave it and run away. You know, they want you to run away the way Kibaki ran away. They want you to leave it and you run away the way uh, President Uhuru ran away. You are not talking about the independence of the judiciary. By all actions, you stood with the independence of the judiciary. Many cases were brought against this government the last one year, and you, including the CS, will count them. And you say, let the rule of law take its course. But you came to these people, Your Excellency, just to finish, and you have a social contract with these people, your manifesto is a social contract. And there's no way another arm of government can derail that social contract that when you reach at the end of the contract, you have nothing to tell the people of Kenya. Universal health care. And I really want, I really want to urge Bishop Dominic, you are very strong stakeholders in our country. We want to hear your voices, you and your Muslim colleagues. We want to hear the voices of the private sector. Because what the president is saying 
is that we want to make sure each and every Kenyan, whether employed, whether in the streets, he can walk to a nearby clinic or hospital when he's sick and he can get treated. That the millions of Kenyans who have no shelter can have shelter. That is basically what the president is saying. So you actually don't run away. You are saying, let us root out the few who are corrupt in the judiciary. There are thousands and hundreds of judges and judicial officers I can bet for who have got very high integrity in our country. But we are dealing with we are dealing with those who are corrupt in the judiciary. Deal with the corruption in the national government. Deal with in the cabinet. You told us corruption will not be entertained, and we said yes, sir. You said the same to the PSS. You've told the governors during the, uh, the summit. You told the, the legislature when you make uh, your address. Nobody is uh, uh, immune or sacrificed.